is continuing to inspire us to reorganize and declutter after the Marie Kondo effect. And now the Get Organized Home Edit. Many of you are trying to follow suit. Helping us transform our lives and plan ahead this uh, year, a uh, professional home organizer right here from in central Ohio, Lori Sela. Good morning, Lori. Good to see you. Good morning. Thank you for having me. Happy to be here. Absolutely. I think one of the hardest things to do is how can we start? How can we begin thinking outside the box to try to start making these changes? Absolutely. So there's a lot that as individuals we cannot control. It's not all up to us. But personally, there's a few things at the beginning of the year that I like to do to sort of set the new year on the right path. And one of those things that I like to advise people is pick a word, pick something that inspires you and um, that sets the tone and the inspiration for the rest of the year. And for me personally, that word this year is prioritize. As you can imagine why it was crazy and busy last year, and it's easy to lose track of things. So this year, I'd like to give back to the basics and what is important to me and my family. So just one word, okay, I like that. Second thing I like to advise people, if you're a goals person, wonderful, pick two or three. Don't get yourself a 20 goal or 30 goal list and then you're on the quitters list by February. Mm -hmm. Start with something that's measurable, mm -hmm. specific, we call them smart goals. And try and go after more routine and habit based rather than results. That's not what I mean by that. So instead of saying, I want to lose X amount of pounds by December, start by going after, I want to exercise two or three times a week. So set yourself up for success and you can build upon that. Yeah, small steps, I love it. Number three, what do you have? Number three, it's very simple. It sounds simple, it's called unsubscribe. I want you to look hard in your schedule, in your finances, in your relationships, anything that has to do with your life currently, things aren't just there. It, you can, maybe you have memberships in groups that no longer serve you, maybe you're part of pages, maybe you get notifications, apps you have purchased, back to the basics. Things are just there because we're so busy, we don't notice them. They're taking away time and energy and money. So try and get back to what is important to you and what serves you going ahead. That's great. It's like decluttering your life, not just your home, but also interpersonal relationships too. as well. Yeah, yeah. So how do you think that you can help people reorganize their homes? Tell us more about that. It's a, well, it's, it's a process that is not the same for everybody. Uh, no two homes are the same. No two people have the same needs or same uh, lifestyle. It's very client-based. Ultimately, what serves one person doesn't work for the other. As an individual, uh, trying to do it alone, you can absolutely do it. I would say the best way is to take a good look. Go over your house. Start a list of all the areas that are bothering you. Uh, don't think much of it. Just do a brain dump write down your, maybe there's just a few areas, maybe it's the whole house. And then try and plan some time, make an appointment with yourself. Be serious about this. Maybe it's 30 minutes a day, maybe it's 30 minutes every weekend. Maybe that's all the time you have. You may not think it's much, but over the course of months, you will find that you'll make a lot of progress. Right, and, 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 and what I was gonna say is it kind of goes back to the uh, four and five of your steps there, because we got, we got to three of them, number four was make a schedule, right? That's what yeah. you're talking about now. Number four was planning. Once you strip back the unnecessary, I want us to be intentional with what we put, what we allow to get into our calendars. A lot of time we let important things just, we just cram them in there. We wing it. We put out fires every day, don't we? So we should be more intentional about what is our ideal day? What is our ideal year? It's not all up to us. We've all found out this past two years that we can't control everything. But as much as we can, we should be intentional about our health, about our family time, about obviously work and obligations, and other things that our secondary can take second seat on that. And finally, to round it all out, tell us number five. Number five was very near and dear to my heart, obviously, as a professional organizer, declutter your house. <laughs> it's super important. It's your home base. It should be your oasis. It should not be a source of stress. If it is, try and do your best. Uh, by yourself, you can enlist the help of family and friends. And if it's still too much, there is happy people out here who would love to take it off your hands and make it all better for you. I think I have an idea of one person that <laughs> would like to do that. <laughs> Lori, tell us, uh, uh, we saw your Instagram page. Tell us how we can find you there on social media. 
It's the same handle everywhere. It's time for organizing, and we would love to help anyone who needs a little bit of organizing. I love your page. I've followed you over the past year. You know, you and I have chatted a little bit. You have great tips on there. So definitely worth a follow. Thank you so much for having me, guys. Thank you. Thanks, Thank Lori. You. We appreciate it. Thank you for putting up with Sierra's fangirling as well. <laughs> I was excited. Oh, Lori's on. I love it. Right. <laughs> <laughs> Columbus continues.